Hello everyone, Mike Pridmore, Utility Service Agency, proud manufacturer representative of Bone Safety Signs and Elephant Armor. We're here today at a customer's loading facility for a feed mill. This is a 1,500 pound tote coming down a ramp they use to load in the parking lots. As you can see, we have some degradation of the existing concrete. We're gonna be doing an Elephant Armor application here today. This product is designed to overlay existing concrete that's failed in this manner. We're gonna go time lapse and show you how it's done. Hey guys, I'm gonna show you some of the tools and materials needed to do this elephant armor demo application today. First and foremost, we gotta get this dirt out of here. We can do it with a broom. In our case, we're gonna do it with a shop vac. We got electricity, so we're prepared. Then we're gonna go a little step further and we're gonna pressure wash this area, make sure we get it nice and clean. We're gonna saw cut the edges, give that elephant armor something to grip down into at the edges. Then you'll see us apply the primer for the elephant armor. This is the pink primer, we'll pour it in the bucket. Handful of elephant armor, a swirl, you'll see us wet it. And then we will mix with our double paddle mixer and a gallon and a half of water. Our elephant armor, you'll see us roll it out. This special roller pushes those fibers down into the elephant armor matrix. Then you're gonna see us apply a product called Echo Baton Vetro Fluid. This is a water glass technology, penetrates 10 to 40 millimeters down into the concrete and creates an impermeable water glass layer. We're about to get safety up and go time lapse. Hey guys, we're done with the Elephant Armor install, over 6,000 PSI, compressive strength, a flexural strength, over 970 PSI, took about two hours to install, we are back in business here at the feed mill. Guys, contact Utility Service Agency for all of your Elephant Armor needs, thanks.